Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 vlog. All right guys, in this week's video, I've got some exciting news for you. And you know, I told you that I was only gonna be doing a video every two weeks, but I also told you that any time that I got some great news regarding anything within the SMA community, that I would pass it along to you. Well, this week, I've got some news that I think you need to know about. Basically what's happened is that Avexis has presented the FDA with additional data regarding some of the clinical trials that they've been going through regarding their treatment known as Zolgensma. Now, I've been pronouncing it Zolgen SMA for a long time, but I did receive information from Avexis on the proper pronunciation of this treatment, and it is pronounced Zolgensma. So I'm gonna try my best, but you know the old adage, old dog, new trick. And I may revert back to the old saying, but I'm gonna try my best. But I'm gonna read you an article regarding this information, and then I'll come back and I'll give you further details and my opinions regarding this article. And the article that I'm gonna show you, I'll also link down in the description of my video. So after you watch my video, go down and click on the link and you can view the entire article for yourself. All right, let's get started. Okay, so at the top of the document, it goes on to read, type two patients with spinal muscular atrophy given the gene therapy Zolgensma via spinal canal injection are showing no safety concerns so far and notable motor milestones, early results of a phase one trial report. Based on these interim but promising data, Avexis anticipates a request being made for the therapy's approval using intrathecal or spinal cord injection necessary for older SMA patients. In a press release, the company said that it and Novartis, which Avexis is now part of, will approach regulators for guidance. Then if you go down one more paragraph, it states, Zolgensma, an expected one-time treatment, is designed to deliver a healthy version of the SMN1 gene, faulty in people with SMA, to motor neurons, which are specialized cells controlling muscle contraction. It works to enable production of the SMN protein, whose low levels are associated with progressive loss of motor nerve cells. Then if you go down one more paragraph, it reads, in an interview with SMA News Today, Avexis president Dave Lennon said that although the applications accepted and taken under review by the FDA are for type one infants up to nine months old, the company has presented the agency with data from all Zogensma clinical trials, opening up the possibility of a broader label. However, Lennon added, it's premature to talk about the expectations and, should it be approved, ultimately, the decision on the label is the FDA's. Okay, so, in a nutshell, what's happening is that Avexis has presented the FDA with additional data regarding some of the clinical trials that they've done regarding the IT or intrathecal delivery of their treatment, Zolgensma, and they're asking the FDA to broaden the label to include type 2 children possibly up to the age of five years old. Originally, it was only going to be available to infants with type 1 that were nine months of age or younger. But since Avexis has had time to go through some of these clinical trials and they've received some extremely promising results from these trials, they're now asking the FDA to include a broader range of patients, possibly up to type 2 children. So if this happens, I don't think it's going to be much longer before it could be available to those of us that are adults with types 2 and 3. You know, we were talking about the possibility of maybe by the end of this year or sometime maybe in the middle or toward the end of 2020. Well, if the FDA broadens the label to include type 2 children, I don't think it's going to be long before it could be available to us. So, my recommendation to you is to get on the phone and contact your doctor, either talk to him on the phone or go in for a face-to-face -face meeting with him and let them know that you not only want information regarding Zolgensma, but tell them that you're interested in possibly starting this as soon as it becomes available to those of us with type 2 and type 3. And again, I don't think it's going to be much longer. But also understand that just because you want to get on Zolgensma doesn't mean that you're going to immediately start receiving it. It's probably going to be a long drawn out process like Spinraza was. We're going to have to go through our insurance companies, they're going to have to collect the data to find out if they think that it's worth it. But since they've had so much time and so many people have now been approved by their insurance companies for Spinraza, 
I don't think it's going to be as arduous of a task getting on Zolgensma as it was trying to get on uh, Spinraza. So, look, we've got a lot to look forward to. And we're going to be receiving some more information over the coming weeks that I think is going to be a game changer with regards to those of us with spinal muscular atrophy. So please continue to watch my YouTube channel. As soon as I get the information, I'll make sure that I pass it along to you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon to be notified of any new videos that I produce. Hey, I hope all of you have had a fantastic week. Do me a favor, do something this upcoming week that's going to make you a better person. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.